Hey, it's Greg from Cutting Edge Stencils and I'm going to show you how to transform this tired tile floor into a work of art. All right, so getting started, this is what we're going to do. We're going to quickly sweep the floor and we're going to sand the floor with some 220 sandpaper. I got it on a sanding block here. Then we're going to come in and we're going to use TSP. We're going to clean the floor. Okay, I've got my Wise Owl Stain Eliminating Primer. It's got great adhesive quality, stirred up real good before you put your coats down. I'm using a dense foam roller so I give a real smooth finish. During the priming process, if you notice that your grout is chipped in any areas, you can take a little bit of caulk, just caulk that area, fill it in, smooth it out with a finger or a little bit of a wet rag, and it's gonna make your grout look great. Then just prime over top of it and you're back on track. Okay, we let our primer dry overnight. We're ready for our base coats. We're gonna be applying two coats of Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Antique Villa. We're gonna do it in the same way that we did the primer using the dense foam roller and a brush to cut in the edges. Let's go. The floor and baseboards have been base coated and now I'm gonna mask off the baseboards. I made a sample ahead of time using these beautiful Wise Owl colors. This gray linen is my light color and peppercorn is my dark color. Because my tile floor has a slight texture to it, I'm choosing to use a brush. It's gonna give me a tighter edge than using a roller. So I'm using a three quarter of an inch stencil brush. And when you use a stencil brush, remember, you don't wanna dip it all the way in. Just get the tip of the, of the brush into the paint like so and then take off some, it's called palleting the brush, and don't have too much paint on it. And that's how you load the brush. Now it's ready to go. I'm gonna use a little spray adhesive on this stencil. It helps to really get tighter edges. So I'm gonna take it outside, put a few light coats on the back of the stencil, and then we'll be ready to go. Center your stencil on the tile. Wow, beautiful. Okay, the stenciling is done and the floor turned out great. It's time to pull the masking tape, do a few touch-ups, and apply three coats of top coat to protect this beautiful floor. I'll be using Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear Satin as my top coat. It's gonna dry crystal clear and be rock solid. I'm using a staining pad to apply this. It's gonna leave a really smooth finish. Didn't this tile floor makeover turn out great? 